We are at the site of Al Halal International Private Limited, Aligar, Uttar Pradesh, India. We are showing one of the effluent treatment plants we have installed. This effluent treatment plant is of 1 MLD capacity. 1 MLD means 10 lakh liter per day. I am going to show you all the units one by one. The first unit is always screen chamber. You can see the furthest tank is the screen chamber. The second tank is the oil tray. The third tank is collection tank. From the collection tank, the wastewater is pumped to the solid separator screens. We have two screens here. The solids are separated here and the wastewater drops down to the floor and from the floor it goes down to the chemical treatment unit. In the chemical treatment unit we have three units flux mixer, flocculator, DAF. In flux mixer coagulants chemicals are added using air. This is the mixing unit, flux mixer and flocculator. From here the uh, you can see the round tank that is called DAF, diffused air flotation system. In that there is a skimmer provided. You can see the skimmer. See uh, at the water level there is a skimmer. So that skimmer removes the floating material. From there it goes to the primary settling tank. Here the chemical sludge is removed and the sludge is pumped to the sludge drain beds. From here it goes to the anaerobic treatment phase called UASB upflow anaerobic biological reactor. From there it goes to the aeration tanks. And from there it goes to the clarifier tank where the biological sludge is removed. This is the outlet of the sludge solid separator. In the in that in the further you can see the USB reactors. There are seven reactors on in this site. On the top of the reactors, you can see the gas domes made of stainless steel. This is the addition tank after the USB, and this is the clarifier of the addition tank. In the addition tank, aerobic biological treatment is provided, and the sludge generated is removed in the clarifier. And the biological sludge is also pumped to the sludge drain beds. Now you will see the sludge drain beds also. On the left hand side you can see the sludge drain bed. After clarifier, a disinfection tank is provided where disinfection is done. 
from the disinfection tank treated wastewater is pumped through two filters one is sand filter and the other is activated carbon filter from the activated carbon filter it goes to the fish tank the fish tank is provided for bioassay test bioassay test means the fish can survive in the treated water this means the treated water is okay for the chairs this is the last tank from here the treated wastewater goes for reuse you can now see the final outlet point of the open treatment plant now we are going for the blower room there is too much noise for all the blowers because those blowers are very big these blowers supply air to the addition tank going to the top of the aeration tanks to see the air bubbling. The air supplied from the air blower gives oxygen to the water. In the presence of oxygen, aerobic bacteria develops in the aeration tank. The aerobic bacteria oxidizes the pollutants and sludge, biological sludge is formed in the clarifier. So we will see the aeration tanks now, the airlines that is going down to the aeration tanks, the airlines are painted yellow. From this common airline you can see the branch airline going down to the bottom of the aeration tanks. At the bottom of the aeration tanks, diffusers, air diffusers are provided. From the air diffusers, air comes out. This is the biological process, aerobic biological process. That is the staff room and can level three. Everything needs to be designed. You can see that we have checkered plate at the bottom of the platform. We have railings for safety. And all our pipes have color codes. Some pipes are yellow, some pipes are green. Some pipes are black. And we have to look for greenery also. Because we have to maintain some space for greenery inside the apple treatment plant area. Uh, in the furnace, you can see the gas flare. The gas flare is provided to burn the excess gas coming from the UASB reactor. Normally, this gas consists of methane, carbon dioxide, and CO2. Carbon dioxide. and H2S. Now we will go to the top of the USB reactors to see the domes. The treated water is used for farming. You can see that behind. This is the dome. This is the dome made of stainless steel. And the top of the dome, you can see the gas pipe. And there is a common gas pipe connecting all the seven domes. This is the anaerobic treatment process. 
we have three phases in this effluent treatment plant the first phase is chemical treatment the second phase is this UASB reactor which is anaerobic phase and the third phase is aerobic phase which we call aeration tanks so this is the ETP of 1 MLD capacity that we have designed and constructed and trained staff to run it at Aligar of Al Halal International Private Limited. Thank you for watching.